Yeah. And then, um, I mean, this did this come with this whole thing? When you, how did you order this box? It's a uh, so uh, Overland Explorer vehicles in Canada makes the camper and the boxes and the tray. Oh, they're in Canada, Overland yeah. Adventure vehicles. And they have seven or eight or nine dealers in the United States. So they made it for me, and the awning is an option. Okay. And then there's a whole slew of options. Oh, and it folds right in, yeah. And you got your protection and everything for the tree limbs, yeah, right? There's roof racks up there, your 800 watts of solar, Starlink. What's your departure angle here? Do you uh, measure it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. it looks pretty good. I don't know. When it's up. You have like, that's like 35 degrees. Oh, yeah. When, then well, you when it's up, it's high. And when, if I go all the way up, yeah. which is another eight or nine inches higher, it gets even more. Uh -huh. so. Um, so do you feel like you have enough room in this size of box? It's a little smaller than like say your Bigfoot or Northern Light 10-2, right? Like, what does it feel like, an 811? It, uh, so I, I did smaller on purpose. I did as big as I could go on the 60-inch chassis cab. 60-inch cab, yeah. yeah. So 80, the 84-inch would have given me two more feet. Mm -hmm. I could have put two more feet on. But, but you chose the not to. turning radius changes, uh, overgrown places where you have to turn around rough roads so you I, really want to off-road yes. you're like the guy that wants a unimog yes. but you can't get him here new yes. okay that's of, hilarious have you heard of fish creek trail the jeep trail in anza borrego no i just did it i just did it with my jeep okay well, it's called yeah. fish fish creek trail fish creek fish, trail fish, I'll, you fish know what i'll remember to look it up on after yeah. i review the footage yeah, and go check it out because I mean, there's lots I don't of those. Say it's rock crawling, so, but so there's rock crawling involved. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing this is a jeep trail. This is like the people having fun with their four by fours with thirty fives, and you got you know you got your forty ones, but that's. I want to take it where other vehicles can't go, and that's yeah. and that's the shorter wheel base. Mm -hmm. Well, this is essentially the Unimog American version, then, right? The Unimog is like the ultimate four by four that can go anywhere and carry a cabin, right? Um, it's smaller though. I think you can hold a bigger cabin. Uh, the the Unimog is a 13 foot. Oh, you can put a 4, 13 foot Bliss on it. It can carry a lot of weight. Right. It can carry around 20,000 pounds or whatever. I mean, I looked at all the Unimog options, and then you know I started looking at the 550s and the Rams, and yeah, how much does the whole truck weigh? Was right say now. how much fuel you're carrying in water? Uh, the whole truck weighs a little over 16,000 pounds right now. Wow, it's, it's pretty ten, light then. Ten on the back, six in the front. I'm holding 38 gallons of water. I have a 15 gallon gray tank. Um, and no black tank. 38 gallons of water. Oh, okay, yeah, like not that much water though. That's not that much water. That's like 150 liters or something. Mm -hmm. I'm from Canada. Um, but it's, it's just you? Is it one person usually? My wife and I, yeah. Okay, well then you use a lot of water too. Like it makes a difference having two people, right? Yeah. So you can do a week without with water and have a, yeah. one or two showers here? Yes. yes, we've done a week twice already yeah. in this. And just like you said, go anywhere you want. I, yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Any any changes you'd make after the fact if you had to redo something that now is too late? You know, after you. I mean, I'm trying to learn from you, right? Because I like what you're doing. I just kind of feel like I don't want it a little bigger of a quarter. So maybe you'll like give me some information on this. Sure. Unless I want to make it bigger, there's really no change I want to make. Yeah. Because you know I've got a wet bath in there, mm -hmm. and that's all I can ask for. It, um, it's great. I've got a little dinette. I've got everything I need. You got a little outside shower too. Oven, but I can no do, oven, yeah. I can do an oven on. I can do an oven on my camp stove. Yeah, that's what the guys were just talking about. Kitchen on the other side. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen the kitchen. No, I haven't looked in yet. I've looked at this guy's website a long time ago. I do remember looking at it, and I thought it was just a little small. Because, well, I guess it's the difference, too, is you're the weekend or week warrior. Like, living in it full-time is a little different, too, right? Yeah, I can't live in it. No, it's a little tight for that. Yeah, so then where's the compromise? Living in something of a quarter's big enough that doesn't weigh too much and has a turning radius, right? It's a, it's a tough, tough mix. And you carry one spare tire? Yep. Do you ever feel like you had two, but I guess you're just on the weekend, so... I would never want to. That's, that's if you're expediting the world, huh? I, I dare you to uh, go and search the entire internet and find uh, someone that's got a flat on these. Either the Continental or the Goodyear. I found one. I found one guy. I've seen a blowout on the Goodyear. And uh, he he got a flat because his tires were like nine years old and he didn't mm -hmm. change them. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm planning on never having to use that. Yeah, I got you. I got you. And like, if you don't air down too much, you don't wreck anything. You know, sometimes you get cut on a rock though, I guess if you're in yeah. terrible rock territory. I mean, I've seen a lot of videos on the Unimogs, you know, in Australia or whatever, and they're getting flats because of, 
whatever, I don't know, new tires too. So, I mean, if you're doing like expedition vehicle and it's so, you know, the thing is, the thing is you're on in this multi-thousand dollar quest in the middle of nowhere, you get a flat, now you're super nervous. Cause now you're screwed. Well, I'm probably not taking this to South America, so I'm gonna be, but all right. Baja is the, yeah. as far as it's going. Mm -hmm. Alaska. And like you Canada. said, yeah, yeah. And like you said, these guys, like, they outfitted the whole bottom box, too. Mm -hmm. they, all this is all, like, with their L-Track, etc. Uh, is from them. I have onboard air. Before. Oh, can you show me that? Uh, what are you doing for your air up, air down? Yeah, Do you have, like, just four lines kind of pop out? or? Yeah, right here is the... Uh... Right here is one. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so nice. you just throw. I you have just little pigtails that I. Yeah, you just run. In. You run four yeah, of them. Got the twin air with the Bluetooth app, and I can set the pressure. And Is that like in this pocket here? Down. No, it's mounted in the frame. Oh, okay. Um, so you don't the have. The one for this wheel. This is locked, but the one for this wheel is inside the box, and I just go around. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, really, like, yeah, excellent four by four, like you said, weak explorer. And these things are all locked on, right? I've never actually looked at them close. Yeah. Because right you can imagine all the people in the city is trying to steal everything. Yeah, I park it in my driveway, so I want to keep it locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Little dinette. Sleeping area. Mm -hmm. How's the insulation of this thing? Because it's a composite? It's a very thick wall, fully insulated. Just like everybody else's composite, right? They're literally two inches. And then the dual pane windows, right? Huh. Yeah, those are the pl the plastic ones? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the plastic little dual panes. Uh, what kind of issues you had with scratches when you're going through the bush? Yeah, I've only had it seven months. Oh, uh, okay. So you haven't scratched one window yet? Not yet, no. Yeah. So you, you know some people will make a, like a cover system that they can quickly cover up the window on the outside. Yeah. Because, you know, like any of the cacti bushes, you know, there was a... Right? I'm actually... Uh, I've got a wrap that I'm going to put on this thing pretty soon. So I'm not going to worry about scratching. Yeah, it's just the windows, though. I'm specifically. But, I don't yeah, care about. If they yeah, do, I'll just report. I'll just, yeah, yeah or apparently so you can. Bad. Apparently you can buff them out. Yeah. But I mean, I have the plastic ones too, and yeah. that's my concern. I guess you could put that uh, clear protective film. On. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's just like 3M. It's, it is, and it's clear. I yeah, yeah. On the front bumper, right? That's now. a great little idea. Um, then you just have a little storage here, yeah. a couple, and then you like these types of click, like yeah. click blocks. Uh -huh. Versus, you know, the other people are running. Whoa, look, oh, yeah, I've seen these before. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that That's a good, because you can't actually bring it down unless you break it, right? Yeah, you got to break it. Yes, yeah, so you need two hands or to hit your hand. But, you know, versus like the button ones or versus the ones that are lock turn. Yeah, these work good. Yeah. Two buck boost DC to DC chargers. Massive amount of it. So that's why you get the dual alternators when you order a truck, right? Yep. So what's my plan? Yeah, he was just saying earlier, 200 amp hours you can pull off of the bump boost duels. There are these guys. Oh, that's what they look like. Because yeah. I'm used to just seeing the DC to DC 30 amp ones, right? Yeah, they're just smaller. And then you got a couple 130s for your two. Solar. Are you doing parallel? You got the two circuits on solar. Yeah. On parallel, back on the solar yeah. panels are parallel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice and clean, very clean looking. Great, look at set up. And then you said the batteries are under there. That thing just, oh, does it doesn't latch or? Yeah, it doesn't matches. Yeah. yeah, please, please. Wow, there you go. These batteries you said are 200s? They're 320s. Holy crap. Yeah, this this space is so much better than my four battle borns. Like, you know, because you're getting way more. I'm only getting, to that same space or more, I'm only getting 400, right? man and then you got your bus bars nice you got good access here nice space and i guess so they install when you order the camper this is all done by them OEV. okay gotcha well thank you very much for showing that and this is the biggest model they make right no they oh. make a built on oh chassis on a flat version. deck okay i'll have to look yeah. up the website again yeah there's a qr code on the back corner driver's side i'll take you right to your site yeah, wow. And then this is the closet. Oh, this is the bathroom, wet bathroom. Yep. Mind if I look in there? Yep. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, it's got, so a little shower, okay. And then a uh, composting toilet? Wrap-on. A what? Uh, Wrap-on. 
I don't know what that means. No, that's the brand? It's a Japanese um, toilet that was made for tower crane operators, so they don't have to come down during the day. And it what? wraps. It wraps. Oh, ew, it's the one that puts it in bags. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get like yep. 19 bags or whatever. And it just uh, makes individual bags. And you just throw them away. And you just throw them in the trash. Who does the kitchen? OEV. Oh, okay. They did it too. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just like all these uh, nice guys with the slide out. Yep. Just like if you're buying a Bliss or something and then it's got the counter space too with it. Kitchen's nice. And there's just a two burner and, and yep. do you use this uh you like cooking out here if the weather's not too windy? Cooked breakfast this morning. There you go. Yeah. Are the these are all forged one piece and um, steel or alloy? They're all alloy. Well, see, that's one of the concerns. But they're light. I know that's one of they're the concerns light. of the steel wheels. I've come across video. I've been looking at super single wheels, and yeah. there's a couple guys who are like, I made the mistake. I got the steels. They're so heavy. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they're out of balance sometimes, and then it gets even worse, right? Like I, the, I the don't Rexons. have a need for the three piece things. I'm not gonna. What do you think you could air down to without like well, 50, I've, 30? I've only gone. Uh, uh, 40 and 30. And that, how he much bolts did you get? <laughs> pretty good. Not not a ton. Yeah. I was a little bit scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I well, it was, yeah. It'd be blow one. I think have... I could go 35, 25. Or, or sorry. Yeah. 35, 25. 25 on the yeah. front. But if you had the Hutchison double bead locks, or then I'd the, go, I guess I'd it's go a three a piece, yeah. then you could go down to 10. Yeah. I don't know. Like not like my side by side, or so light. It still has a I lot of weight on it. 10, yeah, fifteen, lower, yeah. twenty, maybe. All right. So you got the special wheels. What are they? What's the guy's name again? Justin Waring. Justin Waring, by word of mouth, made yeah. by he ordered Hutchison to make them. He's got a, he's got a couple YouTube videos talking yeah. about. It, but... And uh, it's funny, your tires look bigger than the three thirty fives, but it's just the good years. So just the good years look bigger than the um, Continentals, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't have yeah, you not I think noticed? The Continentals look a little narrower. They're much the narrower. Yeah. Oh yeah, like two inches narrower. I like the wider. Trim. Yeah. And you've always been a Ram fan instead no, of the Ford fan. It's my first Ram. Oh, okay. I had a Chevy for 20 years uh, before this. I have a Duramax right now. Yeah. Uh, general vehicle is garbage. Um, so I'm looking at like a Ram. I was thinking the 5500, the coming diesel. It's around the world. And then I start to look into exploration. You know, we all hate the new. We all hate the new diesel emissions, yeah. which actually. They actually make emissions worse. You change your oil more often. The engine runs harder. The thing gets thrown away earlier. You know, it's out. I'm not happy about that, but I am happy about the longevity of a diesel mm -hmm. and the pulling power of it. Yeah, so that's why, like, you know, a lot of these guys are in Godzilla's, and it's just like, well, then you can get fuel everywhere, certainly yeah. in South Central America, Europe, whatever. And, um, you know, unless you're, you know, it depends on your state and your issues of, you know, those emission systems freeze up sometimes, right? Uh, and some problems but it's either that or the ford or i mean there's no gas option for the the ram so it's going to get your cummins that's the whole point right yeah i mean they may come out with one but we'll see. 